Welcome back, folks. Lego lovers, you are in luck. The Albuquerque Brick Convention is happening this weekend over at the Balloon Fiesta Park in the Sid Cutter Pilots Pavilions. There, you are going to be able to explore custom creations by adult fans of Legos. You can also take part in workshops, so much more. To give us all the details on what you can expect, we are joined by Robert Perez from the Albuquerque Brick Convention. Uh, Robert, you have been informing me on, on, it just blows my mind what you can do with Legos. Yes. I grew up a little bit with Legos, but didn't really get to this level. So let's talk about what this convention is all about. And we need to mention that this is the inaugural event. This is the first one of its kind right happening, uh, yes. happening here in Albuquerque. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about what's going on this weekend. Oh yeah, so this weekend, on, so what we're gonna have is, all the builders from New Mexico and from out of state, I have, I have a few come from out of state, they're gonna, they're gonna bring their mocks. And I have Breaking Bad coming from Arizona, I have some people coming from Texas, a lady coming from Utah. And they, they, we all come together here on Friday and we're gonna set up all our, our displays. Mm -hmm. And these are all custom builds. Well, the majority of them are, there are some um, sets, like mm -hmm. the one up in here, this is a set and mm -hmm. this is the mock. And they're, they're going to bring them there, and you can see them. Mm -hmm. Now, as you as I showed you before, this ship right here, this is the small version of the big ship, okay. which will be there, which is over eight feet tall. I'm sorry, over eight feet long, over six feet tall. It has forty thousand, has over forty thousand pieces, and it weighs about one hundred fifty pounds or so. Wow! And it has, right now, I'm working on my minifigures because I want to populate the whole crew. But uh -huh. I want to put. I had one hundred sixty, four hundred and sixty-five. I want to put a thousand minifigures on the ship now. Really? It's wow! Big, it's big enough to hold it. Okay. With um, my my son even said one time, with even with my dad standing next to it, it's still huge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you take that as a compliment or an insult from your son. We're not I sure know. about that. That is an impressive creation. Now, uh, just because again, folks like me, we don't know mocks. My own creation. This yes. is not something that you're just following instructions. You create this from the ground up. Yes. Well, now, the ship that we just saw there, it was a set. Okay. I like the set, but then in the movie, because it came from the it came from the Lego movie. Okay. Um, Metal Beard says he had a hundred master builders on the ship, so I'm like, okay, I want to put a hundred master builders on the set. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, so I made it a little bigger. Then my son had that. Aren't the guns underwater? Yes, and so that started the whole. For the last ten years, I've been building the ship bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. This is this ver the version that you're going to see at the show this weekend, is the tenth version. Really. There okay. will be an eleventh version because of the front end of the ship I don't like. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to change it again. That's the master builder constantly tweaking on this. Yes. Now there was an adult component to this, there's a kids component to this yes. too. So if kids wanna come with their own creations, they can compete for, uh, with each other and then the adults competing with each other. There is adjudicating and then there's also a people's choice component to this, yes. is that right? Yes. Okay. So the children, um, what they get to do is they, they bring their sets there, as long as it's, it's, it's um, Smaller than 10, 10 inches by 10 inches, okay. it's only $5. If it gets, if it gets bigger, then we, it's another $5. Um, there's no real competing for, for the children because it's just they get to come and show. But, uh, but they, they're, they're the future of my show. Sure, sure. Because when they get older, they become adults and stuff. I, I, I want them to come back. Mm -hmm. I want them to have a good time too. The adults, they, when they go online, they register and they register all their mocks so I know what, what's coming. Mm -hmm. and then they're competing for okay. best in show. The people's choice, all the fans, they get to come there, they get to look around, see everything, and whatever they like. If they want to see, they like the castle, they can't vote for my builds. Okay. My builds are off limits. That it's just to show. Mine are just gotcha. for show. Everyone else, they're competing there, because they want, what we all want is not money, we want the brick. The, br <laughs> the brick. Okay. The brick. That's okay. what we want. Now, I know we got to wrap here real quick, um, so I want to make sure we get the information. Uh, it's happening this weekend. How do we get our tickets? Where can we find more information about it? Um, Albuquerque. AlbuquerqueBrickConvention.com. Okay. You can go there. All the tickets are on tickets are on sale on, on the website. Also, Cumulus Radio Station has ticket sales there. For military and first responders, and also like I told my doctor, if she came there with her badge, she could come in for ten dollars too. That's fantastic. All right, and no. it's, it's cash. It's cash at the door. Cash at the door. Fantastic. Yes. Well, we appreciate you bringing all these creations and bringing it to the Duke City. For more information, head over to KRQE.com. We'll be right back.